Hey guys, what's up? This is NASA787. Today I'm bringing you guys a video on Flight Gear. Uh, I'm just going to explain what I think about the simulator so far and what kinds of uh, issues there are that I personally don't like and just, you know, what we could expect from um, Microsoft Flight. Okay, so first thing on this simulator is that, you know, I'm not really impressed by the functionality. So, for example, on my flight stick or joystick, I have to turn uh, counterclockwise. That would mean that, you know, for a rudder in this flight simulator, I have to do that. And I just don't like that. You know, I just think it's like really, you know, not, not really professional. And it's just horrible. You know, uh, I don't like that. And another thing is that. You know, I'm not really impressed by, you know, how the third, um, the 3D cockpit looks. You know, in other, like, flight simulators like, you know, Microsoft, you would expect, you know, more uh, kind of, like, three-dimensional feel to it. You know, and uh, one thing about Flight Gear is that they, it's free and it's open source, so, you know, I could expect these kinds of things, you know, because, you know, it's free and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I just don't like how the controls work. That's one of the things that I really just don't like. Um, the graphics, I mean, they're okay. Or, again, guys, um, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, it's, it's a free simulator. So, you know, I might be harsh on it. But uh, maybe I, th I, I think that these guys could do way better. Like, the programmers and stuff like that. And... Or have like a payware kind of thing, you know, so uh, it's done a little bit more uh, better. And, you know, I I want to thank these guys who have made the simulator for making a simulator that's free for everyone. For Mac, Linux, and Mac. And I like that. Uh, you know, um, yeah, I want to thank, thank them for that. Because there's not many flight simulators that are, you know, like, for free out there. Uh, unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't have a, 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 you know, flight simulator for Macs. So, this does kind of replace it. But, as you can see right there, I was having trouble with the uh, turning left and right. Um, that's another thing. Um, you have to press the, uh, the number zero. Zero. Uh, in order to turn left and you gotta press enter in order to go right and that's kind of annoying because um, I'm a right hander person so I have to use my flight stick on my right hand and then therefore I have to use my uh, left hand to move these two keys and then I have to go back and press up on the elevator because the elevator uh, thing does not work on the flight stick and I can't go up and I, you know uh, I got this game yesterday. Um, I, I was testing it last night and stuff like that. Um, you know, I was trying to find some tutorials on how to, you know, like set up the flight uh, joystick. Um, didn't really find any helpful ones that were, uh, you know, like I, I had to do something like copy paste some kind of like uh, you have those encryption or codes that you put in. And um, I was just like, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to mess up my computer. So, you know, uh, I think that they should have, like, their own tutorial kind of page. Maybe they do. Uh, or I can just go ask them. I will do that. Um, one thing that I didn't really like, again, <clears throat> uh, you guys saw it back there. Um, I, did, I don't like that the uh, blade on the engine looks gray that's just uh, unrealistic uh, maybe it might be because of my uh, graphics or you can download some kind of packs maybe you can do that but I mean uh, for Microsoft Flight uh, I mean Flight Simulator X not even the default ones were that bad but again this is free source or open source sorry but yeah um, you know besides that you know I did um, I think it was last uh, no still this year a couple months back, I downloaded this um, the same thing, Flight Gear, 
So I went uh, to their website, uh, Facebook uh, page, and I just thought it was really unprofessional what they did. The creator actually told me that, you know, how they were open source, they were free, and how, you know, it, it, it was better than Microsoft. I was like, well, you know, you did a pretty good job on your, you know, your simulator here. But I just don't really like it. And I was surprised that he actually told me that because creators usually go like, oh, we're sorry to hear that. We'll try to make improvements. But no, the creator was trying to put me down and say that his product was way better than other people's and how everyone else liked it. I, you know, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to sound biased or but you know what not even though I might have said some things that might put this simulator down like the functionality but anyways that's all I have to say I'll make an update later on guys uh, NASA 787 out